know, talking to my heroes and outlaws over the years from Whalen to George Jones and whatever. And it's interesting, you know, you cop a little celebrity and everybody out there in a bar wants to see how many shooters you can do or, hey, you know, and, <laughs> and I, I actually caught somewhere. It's been a while back with just reading through some stuff where, um, you know, you made the comment, which was this isn't word for word, but the equivalent of, you know, I got finished and I don't have to prove how much whiskey I can drink. And I have that conversation with people in bars and stuff all the time. And I still like having a drink, but I enjoy having a beer and and socially drinking as opposed to when I was in college or even coming up here when it's just, let's see if we can kill ourselves. Here, yeah, right. you know? <laughs> and, and it's like, at this point in my life, I don't have to prove to anybody how much I can drink. Trust me. That's exactly uh, right. I've already done that. I've, I've proven it way too many times, you know. <laughs> Your liver squeezes by, you and, know, <laughs> by, by inches. It still it's, hurts, I think, you know. <laughs> I'm still glad I still have one. Still crying a little bit. No kidding. But but it's an interesting journey, you know. And it it's, is. It's exciting to come out the other side and to be able to look back and and then you just yeah you have to stand up to to that kind of. It's not even intimidation once you're comfortable with yourself, you know. And for sure, I, I don't know what, where that kind of insecurity or what people want you to prove. I think they just. You know, there, there's a lot of complications come with some celebrity and uh, and also a lot of uh, challenges. You know? For sure. I feel like that's that's definitely an unseen thing. <laughs> I don't think people even know when they're doing it. Uh-uh. They just, you know, they recognize Trying you. Trying to have a little what fun. You're about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally get it. But, yeah, like I, I did it full time for a while. I retired. <laughs> it's like, I, I like to think that, that uh, my jersey is retired somewhere <laughs> <laughs> on the wall. You know, but uh, but yeah, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. And and like I said, I still enjoy being around um, that environment. I mean, obviously, with with our job doing what we do, we're around it. Sure. And, I mean, there's no way to dodge it. But for me, it's it was just a uh, something that I couldn't handle. I, I yeah. couldn't handle just one. You know, yeah. I I like to to buddy up to that bottle and and make best friends mm-hmm. with it. And you know, it, it, with that relationship that that I had personally. Um, there wasn't room for a, a lot of my relationships that were really, yeah. really important. So, you know, and you've written some, uh, you know, one hell of an amen and these songs. I, I felt like you kind of went out of, you know, you were just rocking and throwing the party down. And then your songwriting kind of turned into a, um, even Bottoms Up, you know, had a real cool um, groove to it. And a, it was a little more introspective you know, kind of version of that. And there's there's a lot of ways to look at going all in on something. And, you know, you you, you really twisted some good words and did some good work through there. And, and you know, your song that you have out now, it's, it's really fun and cool and good. It's a, another good party song. But I guess my question is, so now you're obviously, and, and we all, I mean, I still write cheating songs and whatever and like that you know and i've been married 35 years right. and we go call on things and our memories and our hearts when we write songs because you can't just keep writing the same love song all the time you know right. you, get, you need to do that one you know to <laughs> keep mama happy i think but but at the same time when you go to write a party song now if if you're not talking about a weekend i mean what do you call on where's where's your happy party place where you go to write that thing oh man i i remember uh, we had this party called Rusty Palooza that we did about three years in a row until the last one was just kind of exploded into <laughs> just a big fight. It was bad. Um, <laughs> but some of the most fun was just hanging out with those guys, hanging out with, with my baseball team when I played baseball in high school. We'd sneak off and have our our uh, our, our fires, you know, our bonfires and, and, and those parties. And, and that was that was really my happy place because it was still fun then. It uh-huh. Drinking that and turned into a full time job and something right. that was hindering my life. It was, it was a lot of fun. So I think I key into that. But to this day, like I said, I enjoy being around the environment. I, yeah. I like people being able to let their hair down and and you know when we people we, we have people come to shows, they'll come up on the bus and they're they're like, man, I I didn't want to bring my beer up here. Well, why not? 
The only thing that makes me <laughs> uncomfortable is when people that do drink don't drink around me. It makes me feel like the naked guy in the corner. Uh huh. But, you know, <laughs> but, you know I still You're enjoy being around. Not trying to change it. somebody else's life. You just got yours in a good place. That's right. That's right. <laughs> As most other people can handle it. I yeah. just I can't. You can only wake up naked on so many beaches. <laughs> Before you, <laughs> especially when there's not a beach in your state, I don't think the beach in Georgia really counts. <laughs> Did you have a when you sing about the weekend, for instance? I mean, I told people, you know, I, my dad was a pipeline contractor, and I worked for a lot of years in his shop working on trucks and stuff, and then worked out on the pipelines, you know, with the shovel, digging ditches, and whatever. I mean, that, it really made me practice my guitar and want to write a good song, for sure. you know? For sure. But so when you talk about, a, you know, waiting on the weekend, you, you got a, um, a job back there that you think about of this is, I, I really identify with that working guy, and I can sing this one. You know, you close your eyes and go, yeah, I'm with you, Hoss. Oh, for sure. I remember loading hay, and that was one, and I do remember uh, I worked, my dad uh, owned part of an insulation company. And uh, I worked on a blow truck for a few years. And that doesn't get hot so, up there in the attic, does oh it? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that just thinking, man, if I can get to the weekend. And and now even is like, you know, we're on the grind during the week. We, you know, we all do things. And then when it's showtime, for me now, my party is, you know, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, any of those nights that we're playing shows, it's almost like I'm back in that environment. Uh -huh. And my, my head goes to that place and I'm, I'm having a blast, you know, yeah. I'm partying. So it's, uh, you know, I, I love that environment. You know, it's electric and it's, I mean, you know, you can fall in love with it. I don't know what I would do, you know, if if we stopped performing. <laughs> and I wasn't doing that every weekend. So Probably wouldn't be blowing insulation. No. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle had an insulation company, you know. Oh, man. Yeah, I knew a bunch of those hands that worked for him. And they just, golly, they'd say they always had fiberglass in their arms and whatever. And. And then Always in an attic in the summertime in Louisiana, man. It's like I like where you came from. That stuff's hot. It is. It is. I, I'll I'll never forget that job. You know uh, the song "My Kind of Party" that Jason Aldean cut. Mm -hmm. um, that idea for that chorus hit me the first time I was actually in the truck uh, feeding the machine. I was standing on two stacked up bags um of insulation and you know when you put them in that machine, there's insulation all in the air and you got to wear a mask and all this. And I remember kind of bobbing my head and 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 for some reason that idea and i was thinking about that party that was coming up that weekend or just getting off work and riding out to banks county with them guys and and uh and getting a little sideways but i, I remember <laughs> that that song came to me in in the back of an insulation truck and drastically go. changed my life so there's one that <laughs> come from hard work you know